Hello, friends. Thank you for joining us for another episode here at Fort Worth Roots. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by GW District. You can go to shopgwdistrict.com or go to your app store, pull up GW District in the search bar, and now you've got two awesome ways to peruse the merchandise listed here by over 100 minority-owned businesses. What are you waiting for? Check it out. My guest today is a longtime friend, an Army veteran. He has appeared on national television over six times that I'm aware of. Just an all-around great dude. Give it up for Steve Morris. Let's start the show. So I try not to talk a lot about myself, but our story yeah. starts off uh, with me involved. Yes. So I got to tell a little bit of it. <laughs> so we, uh, I used to have a landscaping business and I got picked up for this uh, HGTV series that that's it's like not even Fort Worth. Yeah. yeah, I was about to say yeah. it's not even worth mentioning because yeah. it, you know, <laughs> it, it showed up and then it was gone. Yeah. I don't yeah. even know if you can see reruns <clears throat> or uh, archives. I, I haven't seen any. I, I, I go on YouTube and I see some, but um, actually, my wife seen a commercial yesterday with uh, with Andy Williams on there. No, yes, from the old show or yeah, something from new the, from the old show. Okay, from the old show. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, from the old show. So, all right. Yeah, I, I think I think they're going to start either running reruns or they're just doing like a marathon or something like that. I'm not sure, but they hey. get their money out of it. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. So, so anyway, we did six episodes. Um, I don't. We signed some paperwork too. I don't know if yeah. <laughs> we're allowed to talk about it, but hey, I was there. Yeah. I got pictures. That's it. Um, anyway, uh, so what they had me doing is completely revitalizing the landscape for these properties. And it's flip or flop for worse. So they'd go in, they'd take these older homes and they would, you know, slap some paint on it, redo the flower beds and the sod, and then flip it and sell it. And that yep. was it. That's it done in a wrap but we were doing six different properties all at once mm -hmm. so i started to panic and one of the gentlemen that was on that show with me uh was joe joe juarez, juarez yes with stars and stripes mm -hmm. and i told him i was like man i don't know how i'm gonna pull this together i don't have enough people for this and he was like you know what i think you need to talk to this gentleman i just ran into and yeah. uh, gave me your contact information and I contacted you, and Stephen saved the day. So, and I actually ended up leaning on Stephen for his expertise in a, a couple of different areas, and we would bounce ideas off of each other. Yes, sir. Because we were, at that time, my business was so new mm -hmm. that I was running into things that I just didn't know. Yeah, like I understand. I, I needed help with. So, you were there for me for that, and that kind of set the tempo uh, for our entire relationship up to this point, you've yes, sir. always been there for me, and I appreciate that. Hey, brother, you've done the same for me. <laughs> hey, I, I was new in the business as well, man. And uh, when you came, I came to the house and it's like, hey, Andrew, um, Joe gave me your information, man. Uh, you know, I just want to talk to you, whatever. You say, you know what? Here's 14 properties. Go ahead and take care of those. Like, okay, <laughs> no problem. I Thank was, you. <laughs> I was hurting, man. I was hurting. It was a nasty yes, uh, sir. dog eat dog world out there, and I was getting eight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. But hey, man, ever since then we took off, man, and it it's 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 been love ever since, man. I mean, you 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 showed me so much in this game, in this in this landscaping business. It's 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 just ridiculous, you know. Yeah. You fair, I first I remember first going out there, and you gave me the wheel, like, hey, you know how to measure side? I was like, no. <laughs> so, okay, well, do this right here. I went out, took care of it. Okay, now you know how to measure facade. Now let's go to something else. I'm like, okay, I like this. I like this, right? <laughs> you know what? Um, as, you're, as you're telling that story, I'm, I'm thinking about that guy that had that measuring wheel. It was yes. showing you saying, dude, am I the same person? <laughs> hey, man. You, I, hey, dude. I was so uptight. I was so stressed out. Hey, and I man. tell you, and I had an ego on me back then, too. Hey. And that ego, it got it got burnt in the crucible. Yeah. It, it, hey, man, I tell you this, dude. It it, it was good for me, man, because I tell you this, when I first ran into you, 
it, it almost felt like I was back in the military. Yeah. Straight up, man. It's like, okay, I still you know, had a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah, hey, dude. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that edge, out. man. I was like, yeah. I said, oh, yeah, I like this dude here, man. He's he's ready to rock and roll. You know, we're going to we're gonna take care of this mission regardless of what. You know yeah. what I mean? You know so, who didn't appreciate that? Was that? My employees. employees. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They didn't understand, well, man. They didn't last they didn't long either. A lot of them didn't. I mean, God, yeah. turnover rate. And that industry is high, but yeah. I, for some reason, I believe that my turnover rate might have been a little higher. <laughs> hey, man, I don't know. We might be running neck and neck right now. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, man. Between it's, between it's that and the heat, man, out here in oh, Texas, it bro. ain't even August, bro. Yeah, that's it. That's hold, it. Hold on. Don't yeah. <laughs> don't give up yet. No, not at all, man. Not at all. So, what have you been up to? You you're closing out a big project right now, <sighs> yes, aren't you? Yes, man. Uh, Tell we me how, well, at, um, before you tell me about it though. How how did you get into it? I, mean, I, I tell you this, okay. The same guy I was just telling you with the Zion Zoysia, mm -hmm. okay. <clears throat> I just got finished a yard with the Northbridge Bermuda, mm -hmm. okay, and we had like quarter a pallet, maybe close to a third of a pallet left, and we riding by and we see the guys out front raking his yard. I mean, he's out there sweating and stuff. I was like, man, I feel sorry for this dude. You know what I mean? He's, he's out there working his butt off. So like, hey. Uh, you know, we got some leftover side up the street, man. Would you, you know, would you like to, would you like to get it? He just kind of looks like, yeah, 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 that's cool, man. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. So me and my guys, we grab some wheelbarrows and we take it down to his house. You know, we're putting it down and uh, he starts asking me about dirt because he didn't have enough in his front yard. Yeah. So he was asking me about dirt and compost, stuff like that. So I was like, look, dude, I can, I can bring you a, uh, probably like two or three yards of compost over to your house and just dump it in your front yard. You know, you can spread it out or whatever. He said, man, I really appreciate that. That's a you know? lot. Yeah, exactly. That's a lot. And he took some to his backyard too, but he was like, yeah, man, I really appreciate that. I said, okay, no problem, man. You know, I gave him the price and everything. He was really happy with it. So I had a dump trailer. I went, got some compost, dumped it in his front yard. Nice. It was cool. And um, he calls me like a day later. He said, hey, man, uh, he said, I really like you guys, man. You guys did a great job on the side down the street. And, uh, you know, you guys are punctual. You know, I, I, just, I just like you guys, man. He said, you know what? I have an opportunity um, at my job. You know, maybe you can talk to my supervisor and, you know, see see how it goes. Yeah. So I'm just like, okay, you know, what is it? You know, he's like, it's a side install. You know, it's about 145. I'm thinking 145. Okay, you know. Squares. I'm thinking to myself, yeah, you know, 145 <laughs> square feet. I'm like, okay, dude, you know, I can, I can do this in my yeah. sleep. You know, I'm, I'm not even going to call my guys out. I'm going to just go <laughs> ahead and, you know, knock that out, right? So I talked to his, uh, I talked to his manager, his supervisor. He's like, "Oh yeah, you know, I heard a lot about you, Stephen. You know, and um, I, we're going to check you guys out. You know, come on out to the site and uh, just check it out for us. You know, to see what you got, and you know, we'll go from there. And I'll send you some plans over." Plans. So I'm looking like plans. Why are you sending <laughs> me plans over for 145, you know, square feet? I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, so he sends me the plans over, and I'm opening up my email. And I'm looking at it. And I'm like, oh, I, I, I told my wife, I said, sweetheart, come here for a second. You know, can you look at this and tell me what this says? And she looked, she said, it's 145,000 square feet. I'm just like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's like, okay, no problem, you know, so. What does that come out to in, well, you did it in rolls, but if it came yeah. out in pallets, how many pallets would that be? In pallets, it was 425. God. 425 pallets. And um, and really, with the rolls, you're really coming out, because the rolls are only 300 square feet, 360 square feet. So, you're okay. back in 100 square feet. So, in rolls, you're looking at about 500 Oh, my God. Rolls. Yeah. So, oh, you're making me dizzy. Oh, my goodness, dude. I'm going to tell you this. We ended up doing 400 rolls and about 70 pallets because we had one area that was so steep. You couldn't get any equipment on it. You know, yeah. if you try to get a skid steer on there or something like that, you would end up tipping. So we did about 60 to 70 pallets by hand. And so for those of you that are listening and don't know what we're talking about, the rolls are basically just giant. Like, yeah. Think of like a roll of carpet, but larger and yes. made out of dirt and grass. Yes. That's yes. a roll. jumbo rolls. And then a pallet you've probably seen going down the highway on a flatbed truck, um, which are much smaller and easier to maintain. Uh, manhandle yes right but the, the rolls you got to have a machine yes yes you have to have a skid steer with a actual roller attachment so that was a job in itself <laughs> uh, and and so you said 400 and how many how many it was 400 rolls and then we had about 70 pallets okay but earlier you said uh how many pallets it would come out to like 480 or something? yeah 425 425 yes, sir okay so 
to put that into perspective for somebody that's never unloaded a pallet of sod, oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it will take one human being in very good physical shape about two and a half hours to unload. At least one at pallet. At least two and a half hours. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And, yes, sir. And by the time that human gets done with his fourth pallet, he He's is done, done for the for day. <laughs> maybe yes. two days. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. We had about seven or eight guys out there. And, uh, we don't, just don't lose those. Yeah, yeah. I mean, wow. these guys. I, mean, I can't lie. They they really went out there and they got after it. We were knocking out at least fifteen pallets a day. You know, fifteen That's maybe. Pretty good. Yeah, fifteen That's to eighteen pallets a day, and this was especially on, on a day three. Base. Oh my <laughs> goodness, man! It, and the thing is, it, this is when we received it. It's almost like uh, what is it, Murphy's Law? Oh uh, yeah. Okay, when we received it that day, hundred degrees. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that day, hundred degrees. So we're just like you know, but yeah, we we got it done though, man. We got it done. We're nice. doing the finishing touches now, and uh, everybody's happy. So we're just doing a little bit of detail and stuff like that, and you know. Now what? I mean, I, what needs that much grass? Is this a football field? What is this? No, it's actually um, it's Golden State Foods. Uh, they do a lot of distribution for a lot of the restaurants that you see out here, Whataburger, Taco oh, Bell, okay. and things like that. So what they do is. Um, they, they they make a lot of sauces and different um, like proprietary things for the restaurants, you know. So, mm. but yeah, it, it's it's a big, it's a big property. I mean, you look at it. I mean, it's the property itself is over two hundred fifty thousand square feet. So this we is, just did the, we just did the front. This is just the front yard. Yeah, this is just the front. Yeah, <laughs> that that's it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it, it's a whole lot more a uh, whole lot more grass where where we uh, where we were at. But the main thing was was the face of the hills and. Uh, a little bit of terrain, like in the front. Sure. Pretty much what they did when they did the new construction is they did hydro mulch mm -hmm. opposed to doing actual sod. Right. So where they did the hydro mulch, it just, just didn't didn't work out. You know, no, it just it doesn't. Yeah, it died off. I mean, because the majority of that hydro mulch was weed. So we came through. We put down compost first. You know, we, well, first what we did, we stripped everything. We stripped the whole property. And then we came back behind it. We put down a compost, you know, let that kind of get in there. We kind of tilled that in a little bit with our mini skid steer. And then after that, we started raking everything down, made sure everything was smooth. And then we came in with the sod. Mm -hmm. So now we have fields of green everywhere. And uh, did did Patrick Allen with Outdoor Innovations <laughs> yeah, come in? Oh, my goodness, yes. Big shout out to yes, Patrick Allen. Yes, thank you, Patrick. Hey, <laughs> thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. Saved your bacon. He, yeah, he did, man. He came out and he he went above and beyond. You know, when I when I had this deal on the table, he was the first person that I called. I said, hey, man, Patrick, you know, this, this is what we have, man. 145,000 square feet, you know, and we're – you know, I, I need your help. You know what I'm saying? I need help stripping it. You know, I know he has the Harley rake with the mini skid steer, things like that. And he's like, hey, man, no problem. You know, just let me know when you want to start. You know, he gave me a a, a, a fair, fair, fair deal. And uh, he helped me out. He put his guys out there. You know, we went out, started stripping everything, doing what we do. He even helped me spread. Uh, we had 425 yards of compost. Uh -huh. He helped me spread it all. You know nice. what I mean? And then he left his guys out there from, with me. For a few extra days just to give us a hand to make sure that we had the momentum going before he pulled them out, you know. Yeah. And that face of the hill, he gave us some guys for that too. You know what I'm saying? Nice. So, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's been a little while since I worked with him, but it's it's Allen's Outdoor Inno Innovations. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it and is. And so I, uh, during my time in the landscaping world, uh, I don't know how I got so lucky to 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 find the two most awesome people inside that environment, but Alan is another one of those great individuals. Um, yes, I met a lot of nasty people mm -hmm. out oh, there yeah, working do. in the world and you do messing with different businesses. But somehow I found you and Alan, and that, hey, that's the only good we takeaway. Lucky, we were lucky to find you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> we were lucky to find you, and you oh, you, nice you put you us say. together, man. I mean, hey, yeah. that's 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 what I really loved about it, especially when I first came in, is the camaraderie that we all had yeah. between you, Joe, Al, uh, Patrick Allen. Now we just – it was just a camaraderie, man. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't any – Competition or nothing. Hey, no. Andrew, I got this right here, man. I can't handle it. You think you can take it? Yeah, I'll take it. No problem. Yeah. Same thing here. You know, even with Patrick and Joe, you know, we were just passing it along. If we couldn't handle it, we come together and handle it. You know there what was, I mean? So, there was always too much work. Yes. Yes. That's it. That's uh -huh. it. I, I did not 
shut my business down because there wasn't enough work. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hey, it gets stressful at times, Jesus, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, man. My wife is telling me now, like, hey, look, it's time to go on a vacation. It's like, yeah, babe, but, you know, it's it's August. Let's talk about that on yeah. September, october you yeah, know? Yeah, So. Well, I got the place for you guys. Um, I went there last year about this time. Uh-huh. What? Are we in? It's almost August. Yeah, it's almost August. So I think yeah, it was. Dude, it's a blur right now. Yeah, I, still, <laughs> yeah. you know. And I'm, I'm, you know, I went and got myself a, a, a good, honest job. Yeah. And I'm working sixty hours, seventy hours a week. Oh wow. And yeah, just a blur. Yeah, I, I, I can dig it. I can't. Believe, I mean, it's almost. I, it feels like it's almost New Year's yeah. already. Yeah. I mean, 2020 <laughs> has just been awful. Yeah, dude, it's just it's it's just flying by, man. Everything that's going on, you know, it's just. It's just flying by, man. So hey, feels like it slips into autopilot once yeah, in a while. And that's it. Just like, oh, what am I doing now? All the same shit that's again. It. Okay, yeah, that's it, man. <laughs> that's it. I'm out. All I'm doing is opening up my planner. Okay, I got this today. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going out for it. Right. That's it, man. <laughs> but uh, the the place I was talking about is uh, I, I think this is right, Playa del Carmen, and okay. it's a place called Iberostar Grand. Okay, and it is a resort. And it is a string of different, like, sub-resorts, I guess. I think it's one big thing, but mm-hmm. there's all these little ones. And you want to go to the Grand, because that is the adults only. Okay. Right? And then you, if you're at the one I'm talking about, you have access to all the other little places. Okay. But they can't come to your side. That's cool. Best damn food, drinks all day, a pool. I'm not making this up or exaggerating in the slightest. This pool is, like, the inside of a football field. I mean, it is... Wow. And um, they got a, uh, a bar that you just kind of like stroll up to and get your drink. And yeah, everything's paid for. It's all okay. inclusive. So, but it's just it's Playa so. Del Carmen. Yeah, let me know if you need that information. I but do. Playa I do. del Carmen, Ibera Star Grand, I think. Okay. But anyway, if there's any confusion on the name, I, I every time I see a picture from it, I'm like, I've been there. I won't go back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's no paradise. Problem. It's so great. All right. And uh. So I I started playing around online. I'm like, okay, well, I've been there. Let me see if there's other places like that. And they do. They've got hotels all over the place. Okay. And uh, is it know, in the U.S. or is it Mexico? Or? That's Mexico. That's yeah, real. Okay. it's uh, it's down the street from Cancun. Got it. And um, so you got to pay attention to like what months to go uh-huh. because it's all different. Like the, like the seasons, seasons are different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I think right now you'd be good, but. Not right now, because you'd have to do that 14-day quarantine yeah. thing. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Your passport ain't mu- worth much right now, Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, I can already understand that. But once that all clears up, um, I'm scheduling a trip to go. Yeah. I've, I've already been talking to friends like, March is looking real good right yeah, now. I understand, <laughs> man. I understand. We were thinking about going to Barbados in the uh, in November. But, uh, is that one of the islands? Yes, yeah. I love it there, man. I've, I've uh, we've been there before, so... I mean, we we're, we're the type, man. When I when I go somewhere out of the country, I, they tell you, "Oh yeah, just stay on a resort and stuff." I I don't listen, man. I I, no. I, I go out and I mingle with the locals, man. Ain't nobody you know? messing with you. No, man, it, it's it's <laughs> cool though. You know the funny thing is, man. I we went to a place out in in Barbados, man, and uh, we met the owner of the restaurant, and this place closed at at ten o'clock. Uh-huh. Okay, we didn't leave there until two o'clock in the morning. Oh my! Yes, yeah. I mean we were. I tell you, we didn't leave there until two o'clock in the morning. The owner, his mother, his brother, everybody just come out. We're just sitting down talking, laughing, having a great time, man. That's and awesome, it, dude. I'm telling you, man. And it was walking distance from the hotel, mm-hmm. but you never know it. You know what I mean? So we, yeah. just, dude, I, I I like to go places and take in the culture. Yeah, you know what I mean? it's, it's like for being in the military. When you go to different places, okay, flying through or riding through is one thing, but yeah. when you actually put your feet on the ground. And talk to the people, For you know, sure. it's, it's, it's a Absolutely. total different experience, man. Yeah. So, yeah, well, and I always felt comfortable doing that in like a group of my boys, you know, yeah. we'd, we'd go out, um, during those deployments, we'd sometimes we'd get a chance to sneak yeah. off. Exactly. But, exactly. um, I don't know. I like not by myself and not with like a girlfriend or a wife mm-hmm. because I wouldn't, I would just be on alert the whole time. Well, I, I can't lie. Well, yeah. <laughs> I was, you know what I'm saying? But you get certain vibes from certain people. Like oh, yeah. when we were there, <laughs> it, it's, it's crazy, man. Cause we were there, we caught a taxi to the mall. Okay. Well, the mall was closed, you know? So we ended up getting another taxi and this guy here, he is just so hospitable. 
This guy became our personal driver the whole time we were there. Nice. We called this guy up. He'd take us anywhere on the island, anywhere cool. we wanted to go. I mean, he was just that just that hospitable, you know. And yeah. everybody that I ran into, you look so familiar. You look like you look like this pe-. I said, like, what is your last name? I said, Morris. Do you know Morris is royalty here? I'm just like, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's know? right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> exactly. You know, so <laughs> I'm sitting here looking, okay, well, that's that's cool. You know what I mean? But just the whole island experience and just the the hospitality of, of, of everybody that was there, you know, it, it's it's you can tell that it's a it, it's a it's a impoverished island, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it's not an impoverished mindset. Yeah, everyone is happy. Everyone is, you know, so 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 giving. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So I mean, it's, it's just awesome, man. You know what's sad about that? There's a documentary called Happy People. I haven't seen it yet, but mm-hmm. you know, kind of same along the lines. You know, they're impoverished, but everybody's happy. Yeah. Um, and I I I think what is so striking about that is. You hear that statement a lot from mm-hmm. other Americans, like, yeah. "Man, they're so poor, but man, are they nice and generous and yeah. happy?" You know, it's yeah. like, "Well, yeah, just because you know we've that, got fluoride in our drinking water doesn't that's, mean that that's it. you know that's we should it. be the ones with more joy in our lives." Exactly, so, exactly. And uh, I don't know. I thought maybe there's something happening with the coronavirus and uh, the, making a the, shift. The, the the amount of information that we can uh, ingest through yeah. the internet, and may- maybe we'll kind of level out and stop watching so much damn TV and buying all this shit there we don't go. need. And I tell you, that's the one thing that I can say. I mean, the coronavirus, of course, you know, people are losing their lives, and that's bad, you know. But the thing is that I see is from the lockdown, you know, from from people not being able to go places, not being able to go to work, is that you're spending family time. I mean, immediately family time. you started seeing families going for walks down the street, exactly. kids playing. Yes. I mean, yes. did you? Did, how many times did you go into Walmart and see all the bikes were gone? I'm looking for my daughter a bike right now, and I cannot find. Look, in Walmart, the bikes are gone. You go to Academy or Dick's or something like that. All, all of the weights are gone. Yeah. Weights are gone, and bikes are just gone. You know what I mean? Yeah. But. I'm not upset about it, man. I mean, that's just, you know, it's it's like everything that you took for granted or think that you needed in your life, and it, it just kind of, like, sets you back, like, okay, you can't travel. You're not going to work. You know what I'm saying? You're not doing this. So you're forced to spend that family time. It's, it's, it's kind of forcing you to kind of sit back and enjoy what you do have. Reevaluate <coughs> your priorities, too, Exactly. Right? There you yeah. go. There you go. You know what I mean? So, you know, like I say, you know, coronavirus is a terrible thing. You know what I mean? But in the same sense, you know, the lockdowns have brought families closer together. So. There's definitely a silver lining, sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I, I mean, I want to say the first week, I mean, yeah. just the streets were filled with families out walking the dog. Exactly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Riding bicycles, mm-hmm. doing all the kind of stuff that, I mean... I've been noticing less and less of over the years. Yeah. When I was a kid, man, if I came in the house and it, the sun wasn't down, I was getting in trouble. There you go. Your ass there belongs you outside. Yes. What are you doing it. in that's here? That's it. It's almost like it just took it back to the 80s, man. You know, <laughs> kids are actually playing outside now. They're getting footballs and stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? They're playing basketball outside instead of sitting in the house on video games mm-hmm. and stuff, man. So, like, my kids, you know, they, they're they five and nine. You know, my, my, my son is nine and my daughter is five. And, uh. I tell them, I said, look, video games are only on the weekends. Right. You know, we'll play them on the weekends, in the evening time. You know, that's fine. But during the day, summertime, well, first they, they have a, a tutor there just because I didn't want them to get too disconnected from school. So I have a tutor there from like 9 in the morning to maybe like 3 in the afternoon. After that, my wife comes home with them. Okay, now it's time to go play outside. Yeah. You got a brand new puppy. Let's go outside, find some sticks. We're going to do something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, hey, dude, they love it, man. God, I can't believe you have any energy for kids at the end of what you do. <laughs> dude, man. Because I'll tell you well, what, I, when I was doing it. <laughs> yeah, I understand, man. I, but the thing is, they're going to make you do it, man. You yeah, come home, you're right. tired, you're beat. Like, you know, I just don't feel like it today. And then my daughter looks, but daddy, it's like, Okay, you win. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I, I just can't I can't fight it, man. You know what I mean? So, hey, you know, got to do it, man. Well, you're a good man. Try to be, man. Try to be. Well, 
I appreciate you coming out and doing this with me. Oh, no problem, I've man. I've been trying to get you in front of the microphone yes. for how long now? Hey, dude, it's been a, it's been a while. <laughs> but not only it's, that. It's really been, what, the beginning of this year? or la- Actually, it was last year. He was like, hey, man, come on. I want to get you. I said, like, yeah, I'm, I'm trying, bro. I'm well, trying. No, that that was know? just video. Yeah. I, I just wanted to come out and take some video. Yeah, that's I, it. You, t- you took so long, I went out and created a damn yeah. podcast. <laughs> 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 well, you know, and it... And, Another reason I did this, and I told people from the very beginning, this is going to force me to connect with my friends. Yes. Because you and me are much alike in this regard. We feel selfish if we're not working. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's it. So now I'm working. Yeah. There you but, go. you know, whatever. Hey, it's all good, I get to see man. my friends now. I'm that's actually it. planning a trip out to Abilene. <clears throat> I can't remember last time I went to Abilene. Mm-hmm. I've got some great friends out there. I can dig it, man. But uh, <clears throat> it took... Putting this together, yeah, and you know, lining them up like, hey, I'm gonna come out. Th- I got a buddy that uh, had a coronavirus, uh-huh. so you know, of course he's over. It. Oh yeah, I'm gonna line him up. We're gonna get him on the show. Hey, that's cool. Uh, man. Got another uh, friend of mine that uh, wrote a book, and he's trying to promote that. So I'm All gonna right. Go and then I got this one asshole, Cody Hallford. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's listening right now. That's right. I said it, Cody. I called you an a-hole. He's listening. He knows it's true. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going to see him. All right. All right. So just, but anyway. Just, I can dig it, man. I'm just cutting up here, but um, but we got to do this more often. Yeah, definitely, um, man. And I, uh, at the beginning, well, actually at the end of last year, I decided that 2020, for a few different reasons, but I decided 2020 was going to be no drinking. All right. Whole year. And this is it. before the murder hornets, before the, yeah, the yeah, riots. The <laughs> and I'm sitting back and I'm it. like, man, I picked a damn good year to stop drinking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm it's, you, it's giving you all the tests right now, man. All the stress. It ain't a problem. Yeah, that's cool. It's just not. That's I'm, cool. I mean, but the way I used to drink. If I had have been doing that when all this was going on, oh boy, I nowhere to go, dude. nothing to do. I don't know if I'd have made it, I brother. I understand, man. <laughs> I understand. Hey, sometimes we're our own worst enemies, man. Yeah. So I believe it, so dude. It's, it's been a good, you know how much I used to drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway. But that's a good look, man. That's there's definitely some, a good look. There's going to be some rules going forward. Like, Yes. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to come up with some rules. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, dude. <laughs> the thing is, man, it, it's always good, man, because it's a step in a positive direction, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? So that's yeah. that's definitely good, man. I'm glad to hear that, bro. Yeah. And uh, I, I think my uh, – that the place I was telling you about in Playa del Carmen, mm-hmm. I can't wait to go out there probably in March, Yeah. sit in that big-ass pool <sighs> and just drink all – Day long. Dude. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna come back looking like a lobster. Yeah. <laughs> that sun is different, man. Hey man, trust me, I know. I, I had know. a real smart guy uh yesterday explain it to me because I know that like logically I'm closer to the sun and that's why it's it's beating down on me so mm-hmm. hard. But he was like, It's the angle and then like here in the US it's it's gotta go at an angle and it's crossing through more ozone. Mm-hmm. Whereas in Mexico, it's coming straight it's coming down. Straight down. It doesn't it. have as much <clears throat> that's ozone it. to go through. I was like, oh yeah. That's it. <laughs> like no one's actually explained <laughs> it to me, but that that seems legit. Yes. Yes. So that's, that's it. It was crazy because everybody told me like you're gonna burn so fast. I'm like, I'm not taking my shirt off. Yeah. So we we ended up going for a walk down the beach and I was like, I'm just gonna take my shirt off from here until like we get back to the pool area. Yeah. And no, be cool. No big deal. Because it was hot. Ah, so shirt's coming off, right? Yeah. Took the shirt off. No big deal. I, now, walking in the sand, it slows you down. Yeah. And the, the resort is huge. Yeah. So it, yeah. it probably took about 20, 30 minutes maybe. Man, that was, was just enough burned. time right there. I was that's, so burnt. Yes, yeah, sir. And I couldn't believe it. Yes, yeah, sir. I could yeah, feel sir. it. I could uh-huh. feel it the whole time. Like, damn, that's hot. Yeah. That was like oddly <laughs> hot. I understand, man. It was a different energy. Yes. So... I don't know. There's some things you just got to experience in order to believe. Yeah. If you're stubborn like me. Yeah. Yeah. So. Hey, dude. That's that's how I am, dude. I, I gotta I gotta see it for myself. I don't believe what anybody says, man. So you're gonna be the first person that's come on the podcast that I've given something to as a going away gift. Okay. We just talked to the owner of Sweetie's Cheesecakes. Okay. And um, I. Just recorded that one, so I don't know what episode. I would tell the listeners which episodes, but uh, go to the descriptions and look for um, Michael. Hmm. Nope. I'm going to edit that part out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, 
Hold on, Andrew. I'm sorry. You thought you were going to get away with not editing? Yeah. Um, Sweeties Cheesecakes and uh, Michael Vespa brought that bag right there. All right. And there is, there's, now there's one cheesecake in there he told me is mine, and I can't give that out. Okay. But okay. you get to. You know, take two. You oh, take not two, a problem, yes. And, but you're going to have to report back, and you have to tell me how good it is, and uh, might have to go online and check out Sweetie's Cheesecakes. Maybe leave problem. them a review, because these are like new flavors that have not been released yet. Can I take one of these? Yeah, you can cool. take one of those. Cool. All right, all right. Kidding me? I love cheesecakes, man. Dude, who doesn't yeah, love cheesecakes? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Funny thing, so he was telling me the story, and his wife didn't know that he was like a cheesecake guy. Mm-hmm. He's been doing this since he was a kid. Mm-hmm. Um. And he's like, here, I made you this cheesecake. Oh, wow. Like, you know, all impressed. Yeah. Like, I just made my girl a cheesecake. Yeah. She's yeah. going to be like, oh, I got a man that makes cheesecake. <laughs> she was like, I don't like cheesecake. <laughs> and I'm not going to eat that. I hope that doesn't offend you. And yeah. he was just like, oh, yeah. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> totally <laughs> no, crushed no his problem. dreams. Totally crushed them right there. I understand. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. Yeah. If I made somebody a cheesecake. They're eating it. Yes, sir. Yes, I understand. <laughs> I definitely understand. I'm with you, man. I love cheesecake. Yes, sir. So I'm I'm looking at getting into that. For oh, sure. Wow. That's gonna be yeah, great. I'm looking at the bag now, man. <laughs> he came in here with a cooler. Yeah? Yeah, it was a huge cooler. Oh, wow. I don't know what else he had in there. I should have probably hassled him for some more. <laughs> there but. you go. All right. Well, um, we're gonna sit down soon and we're gonna do another one of these. Okay. We'll just pick a subject and go from there. Okay. That's not a problem, man. I'm game. Don't make me chase you down. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, I'm here, brother. I'm so, here. So this location, though, this is okay, right? Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. This is awesome, man. It's yeah. the central point, man. I mean, I was down in Burleson, and I made it up here within, like, 15, 20 yeah. minutes. We're at the Holiday Inn off of I-30 in yes, Lancaster. Sir. Well, I guess it's not. It's Lancaster, and then what's that right there? What's that cross street? Is that Henderson? I believe it is Henderson. I, think, I believe it is Henderson. Is right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, they were just like... I, I called this place, said, hey, I'm looking for a place to record. Would you all mind if I used a common area? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. That's not a problem. So hey. I've got the gentleman's card, and uh, I'm talk to him, just make sure that's cool, and we might make a thing out of this because okay. it's a great spot. I, yeah. I almost had our camera facing towards the window, and you got the big skyscraper there. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Masonic Lodge right across the street. But there you go. I didn't want enough, you know, there's lots of sunlight there. worth in the background. Yeah, for sure. Yes, sir. Get that public storage building out of here. Yeah, exactly. Put a mural up there. Come on. This that's is, it. It's Fort Worth. Let's, <clears throat> let's paint the side of that thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm going to look into that. <laughs> All right, guys. That does it for us. Uh, Stephen, thank you again, brother. Thank you, Andrew. My pleasure. And uh, if Y'all have any questions for the stuff that we covered in this episode, check out the show notes and uh, tell me your website. It is cleanandclearlawnandlandscaping.net. And what's the best way for somebody to contact you whenever they need a sod? What's the name of the sod again? It is Northbridge Bermuda. That is All you the- have to do is go to the website and you're going to see a little tab that says ask for quote or request quote. Push that button, leave a detailed message, and I'll be back to you soon. And he means it. He will get back to you real quick. Yes. They, they specialize in sod. Yes. Steven can do anything, but he yes. specializes in sod. We specialize in sod. We do retaining walls. We do French drains, flower beds. You name it, we do it. Perfect. Perfect. All right, brother. Well, we're out of here. And, All right. And uh, we'll see you next time. Fort Worth Roots. Thank you all for coming by. And uh, we'll see you in a little while for the next episode. All right. Take Bye. it easy. Bye.